What up guys, Mayen here with another video breaking down my fourth track of 2019. If you're new to my channel, hit the bell, click subscribe so you can get my future videos. As you guys know, I have a goal of hitting 50 tracks for 2019 and now I only have 46 left. Boom. In my channel, you will find tips, tricks, unsalted reviews of tools that will help you in the music creation process. Okay guys, let's hit the studio and let's get this thing done. All right guys, let's start with this. So one thing that I do in Logic is I set up my markers of where I want everything to be happening, right? And then the cool thing about doing this is that you can actually move this around and it gives you clarity on like where you need to be uh, adding elements, taking out elements and where the breakdown's gonna be. So you can set the structure for the track. Uh, so now let's start and let's dig in a little bit with uh, with the baseline. This one's gonna be a mid baseline, right? We're going to cut um, like below uh, the uh, 100 hertz, and then we're also gonna take out whatever is happening uh, above 300. And then over here, when this one comes in, it's kind of like the bottom part of the baseline. So it's. Uh, See how this sounds. So see you can hear just the mid part, right? Here is that EQ, taking out the bass and the kick. Yeah, so this one has like a little bit more chunkiness. It's a little bit more of like a rolling bass line. But that's pretty much it for the entire track. Uh, but it comes down to like the bottom end and kick. Uh, sometimes, you know, I take away the kick just because it, it adds a little bit of breathing room for the bass line. And uh, it... Uh, it helps move the track a little bit more. So just keep that in mind when you're making your own tracks. All right, so now let's add the mid drums. This one I actually started like that, adding the, the mid drums and the kick and the bass and see how they played out together. This one as well, you know, it does have uh, this tape saturator right here uh, by UAD and uh, but it does have, you know, some modulation going on with the with the EQs. Or I was thinking a little bit more on the ways that I would play this track and how DJs would uh, take away, you know, the high the high frequencies or the low frequencies when I was uh, mixing this track down. So this is how this sounds. Super simple. The first part. You know, it's just a Brazilian shaker. And now, we're gonna take away the low end. I'm bringing in the hats. So this one, it's kind of fun, right, is that I use this top loop and then this top groove from Rafa Barrios and then what I did is I chopped it up and added like the elements that I wanted to have for this track. Uh, sometimes, you know, when you're working with, uh, you know, analog gear, sometimes you just need something else and I, and I picked that up. Uh, through splice and you can get some some samples like that the hats actually the hats are coming from the octatrack and this top loop uh, I think it might have been the octatrack track too uh, the Brazilian shaker yeah this one it's it's part of like the some of the elements that logic has 
just so you guys know you can use them however you want chop them up move them around and get get, get a track going like that whenever you feel that you know what other tools you have are not working <laughs> this one worked for me so let's have a listen to this so there's nothing wrong with using samples or loops from other, other people as long as you chop them up and make them your own you know automation taking that out you know and that's gonna add some tension and everything's gonna come back in with the effects and whatnot so let's have a listen to this when it comes in yeah pretty pretty grooving track so over here I have two sets of uh, percussion um, buses right this one comes I use the ESX 24 samples to make the groove right uh, then Quincy and Finn those are like the drummers so the cool thing about using the drummers right and let me see if I'm able to show you all right so over here one of the cool features about using the drummers is that you can actually like take elements out and you can customize them and like move things around so it has like more swing, more complexity, uh, different elements can be happening. So you can like build your own um, like group patterns and that's exactly what I did over here. So let's have a listen to how it all works together. percussion that you guys see here that's recorded directly from the octo track And then the other cool thing about using the drummers is that you can actually like uh, input your own um, like samples. So uh, I don't remember where. Let's see how we do this. Uh, maybe this is for another tutorial, but uh, you can actually go and take out all the elements that they pre-programmed for for this and you can do wonders with it and you can like humanize this and like do all this other stuff with it uh yeah this is this is really cool um if you have logic check it out because it's awesome uh let's go see the second battery of uh, percussive elements cool yeah these ones are the ones that i start building with my other this one was octatrack if i'm not mistaken so let's have a listen after this break. Yeah, here's the little element. Yeah, here's some little elements, you know, like throw people off. Alright. Little elements recorded from the Octatrack. Let's go and see what I did with the Electron. And uh, Utah from the Electron, 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 Electron. So all of this is uh, recorded with the Electron melodies. So let's have a listen. So just a little like um, but it's, it's just like a little element happening there. Kind of like tribally. I love this plugin from UAD. This uh, multi-mode filter. 
Obviously, the Valhalla, right? Right, that. Mm -hmm. Do it. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. Those are the synth elements, a little more housey track. Let's check out this lead that I made. And this one, let's see how it was done. Audio, yeah, this is gonna come straight from the Octa track as well. I believe that this one I just decided to do it with like all the Electron elements um, before, you know. I don't know, sometimes when you, um, um, limit yourself, uh, sometimes you just have to get creative, right? So it's, it's kind of fun. Let's listen to this. Yeah, this is more of like a brassy pad, or a brassy lead start. Automation with the Valhalla. Here, this, uh, this element in the break, it changes a little bit. It's more throughout the break than I use it at So as you can see, you know, I have like one, two, three, four different, um, or f yeah, four different chops of the same sound and uh it's just because then you can like manipulate them and like make it into like different sounds that will work better in different parts of the track Okay, now let's go to the effects. So, in effects, uh, let me see. I don't even... Oh, yeah. So, this is. So this is uh, part of the vocal, uh, but I, I just used a lot of delays to make it more of like an ambient sound. And this one is uh, some uh, uh, sounds that I recorded with my Tascam uh, DR40 outside. I recorded this one a long time ago in Guatemala, in uh, Rio Dulce. Uh, so, yeah, it's pretty awesome that I'm able to use those things. Uh, let me see what else is fun from here. 
Um, see, yeah, so we're gonna have some elements here, some fills as well. Let's see, yeah, and I chop them up, right? So this one comes from a monkey pack. <laughs> monkey sounds, uh, because I want it to be more tribally, so I, in Splice, I got a couple of, of monkey sounds that I thought sounded cool for the track, so. So you will hear them all throughout the track. It makes the track sound a little bit like, I don't know, tribally, I guess. More jungle-like. Let me see this. This is some white noise. Oh, maybe I don't even have anything here. It's kind of odd. Yeah, I don't even know what I had there. Uh, let me see. White noise, doing some. Yeah, so with this one, tape delay from Logic, just to get that sound going. I thought, like. And let's see. The effects, they don't really have anything going on uh, on the bus channel. And then let's see the vocal. The vocal is quite interesting. The House of Love. Uh, I don't even remember where I got the sample from, but it's pretty cool. The House of Love. It's too small for two. <laughs> it's too small for two. Love is too narrow. The highest form of love is peace. The house of love. Yeah, where the vocal does shine a lot, it's going to be in this break buildup. Let's have a listen to this. The house. For three and four. Love is too narrow. You're not loving somebody. The house of love. guys, this is uh, my track Numero Quattro for 2019 at this pace. I don't know if I'm going to make it to my 50 tracks, but hopefully I'll pick up the pace. Um, that puts me at 46 left. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about this track. How many tracks have you done so far this year? If you're beating me, I would love to listen to them. So yeah. Give me a holler and also if you don't like and if you give it a thumbs down, I would love to know why. <laughs> I mean just humor me guys. Alright, bye.